Welcome back to the NFA Review Channel, everyone. Today's suppressor is going to be the Bowers Verse 458. A lot of you had a chance to listen to this in person at Suppress Fest 2018 back in November. Uh, unfortunately, Bowers can no longer make my next shooting event. Uh, as you know, my fourth annual NFA Review shoot was slated for March 2nd. Uh, due to political reasons, we had to move it back to April 13th of this year. So if you're just hearing that information just now, um, go ahead and go to my website at nfareviewshoot.com. You can read up there and as well as Facebook. Go to Facebook, my events, you'll see the event on there and then go to the discussion tab and you'll be able to read up on the full press release on what happened. Uh, but we are marching forward for April 13th for the fourth annual shoot. Uh, again, that schedule change caused some conflict with Bowers. Uh, they really wanted to be there, but they're going to be stretched thin as far as scheduling other events throughout the country. So uh, we hope that they will join us for Suppress Fest 2019, which should be November, December. I'm going to pick that date very soon. Uh, but as far as the uh, verse 458, we're going to go ahead and cover the specifications in depth, and then we're going to, as usual, hit that range and see what she sounds like. All right, right off the bat, you'll notice this is a pretty large suppressor, but it is doing a pretty big job considering all the different calories that you can actually use for this, which we'll get to in just a second. As far as the overall length, it comes in at 11.25 inches, a diameter of 1.75 inches, and it weighs 23 ounces. Uh, the tube is constructed of aluminum, has a nice black anodized finish on it, and I know they do a no upcharge switch to Red Dawn Rose, which is more of kind of like a pinkish anodization color. Uh, the baffle stack is machined stainless steel. And moving on to a really important aspect of this suppressor is no minimum barrel length restriction, and it is full auto rated. So very durable can, no factory warnings or restrictions on this suppressor. So pretty much it's gonna run what you brung. So, uh, which we'll get to our next point on how you're gonna run it. So, you know, a big problem out there with direct thread cans, which is what this is, is the ability to adapt it to different host guns, different calibers. So, I talked to Tom prior to filming this video and I asked him, how many of these adapters do you have available? And he said, over 30. 30 adapters for this can makes it pretty versatile and pretty easily adaptable to any situation you might have as far as a project gun you're working on. Now, as far as the mount itself, this is part of their AIMS, or Adapter Integrating Mount System. And then this is their uh, VersaDapt threaded adapter. So this one in particular is threaded in 11 16ths by 24. Okay. And it is pretty self-explanatory how you're going to use this. Just screw the VersaDapt adapter into the back of the can. Use the included wrench. Get it snug, don't go too crazy there because it'll be hard to remove later and you're good to go. Now as far as today's host gun, we have this bad boy. So Ruger contacted me and they want me to do a review on their 450 Bushmaster. So that is our, our host gun. So this of course has the, um, the same thread pitch. I've already test fit it, so I have not fired it yet. So what we're about to experience on the range is genuine, you know, that's just what I'm going through. I'm going through it with you guys. So. I've not fired this. I'm gonna to have to just roughly side it in and then uh, we'll be good to go. So that's what we'll be using here in just a minute. Now, as far as purchasing this can, um, I know it comes in at a MSRP of 825 and then the adapters themselves are 45 bucks shipped to your door. So shipping included. So sub 50 bucks to your door on the adapter, which is pretty unheard of considering what a lot of adapters from other companies actually run these days. Now, it's also rare that you can order this direct from Bowers Group. And I really want to kind of push that issue uh, because that's, that, that's very important. Uh, a lot of the other companies um, rely on distributor deals. Okay, well, when you're dealing with a distributor, 
you, they usually make you sign a non-compete with yourself. So what I mean by that is if you're company A and you're selling a thousand suppressors every quarter to RSR group, then they don't want you to be selling the same suppressor on your website because you could be undercutting all the units that they bought from you. Bowers doesn't have that problem. They sell direct to the consumer. So you can go on their website. Uh, hopefully you can save yourself money. If you are a patron, uh, Bowers actually gives away a $100 gift card to my patrons every month on Patreon. Actually, to read up on that, go to patreon.com slash NFA review and you can kind of read up on what Patreon is all about. But so if you are one of those winners, you can take that $100 store credit call at Bowers hey I want to pick up this verse 458 and then of course they would only be paying 725 for the same suppressor plus whatever mounts they wanted uh, so they sell direct other areas where that helps is going to be customer service um, is now you're building a relationship directly with the owner of the company and there's plenty of feedback out there on the internet when I was researching this video I found some th old threads on forums as well as new threads on gun pages on like pr like private gun groups on Facebook and people that just had generalized questions and or small warranty claims got it solved very quickly by the man himself Tom Bowers so that's pretty cool as far as servicing this can remember this is a rifle suppressor okay I don't care what anybody tells you you do not need to get in here and clean this okay so this is not in user serviceable uh, the amount of gas pressure and heat going through this can is going to pretty much clean 98% of all the carbon buildup that could possibly deposit itself inside the core. Okay, so don't even waste your time thinking about it. As far as Bowers Group, now I don't know this for sure, but I'm just guessing here uh, from my experience in the field. Looks like they have some wrench flats on the back of the tube itself. If I had to guess, this is probably semi-permanently attached with some sort of high temperature uh, thread locker. So should you have an issue, that's how they're going to remove it at the factory and they can exchange the guts on the can should you have a baffle strike. So uh, that's just a hunch. I think that pretty much covers the studio, guys. Uh, I don't want to ramble on too long. I'd rather get out there and show you guys exactly what this sounds like. Uh, and I am eager to see what the new Ruger 450 Bushmaster uh, sounds like and how it performs. So without further ado, let's get out there and get to it. Not expecting it to do that much work. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed today's review. I have to say, uh, as soon as I had this all assembled as a suppressed setup, immediately what came to mind was the 1989 Batman with Jack Nicholson as he's standing in the street as the Joker, pulls that huge revolver out of his pants and shoots down the Batwing. It's pretty big. 
Uh, but you know, it does have a big job to do. So there's a lot of volume here doing a lot of work for that 450 round. Uh, definitely sounded great today. Uh, definitely helped mitigate the recoil. Uh, you know, let's talk about recoil before we talk about suppression. My shoulder is beat to hell. I can already tell if I hit the gym tomorrow, it's not gonna be fun. Uh, that round has a lot of recoil, even on a semi-automatic platform that we're using today. Which, big thank you to Ruger. Uh, Ruger sent us this 450 Bushmaster to use as a host today, as well as about 500 rounds of Hornady Black 450 Bushmaster ammo. Uh, so that's pretty nice of them. In fact, expect a full review on this rifle in the very near future. Uh, back to the suppressor, the suppression levels, uh, as you saw today, I was using, uh, I was not using ear protection in the profile scene, the muzzle view scene, and the 100, uh, 100 yard scene. Um, it's just simply not needed. Um, no discomfort in my ears at all, uh, no ringing. Uh, actually, come to think of it, I didn't have any gas blowback in my face at all. I can't think of a single time today where I had peppering of unburnt powder, uh, you know, burning sensation underneath my eye protection or in my nose. Now it is a little windy. Oh, not a little windy. It's a lot windy today. Uh, there's a storm that's going to move in here very shortly. So I have to wrap this up pretty quick, but um, you could probably see in all the scenes, my shirt was whipping back and forth. Uh, I think the winds are, you know, 20 miles an hour, something like that. So, but still, I think I would have noticed that gas pressure forcing its way up my nasal cavity. Uh, like it does on other cans that are overgassed uh, or other platforms that are overgassed. So I don't know if it's just a combination uh, between the Ruger here, the bore aperture size shooting the smaller 450 through it or what, but really good setup. Um, and again, as far as purchasing one yourself, uh, Bowers again is one of those companies where you can go directly to them to buy the product, which is nice, and they will cover you years down the road should you have any problems. And for any patrons out there, uh, you know I give away a $100 gift card to Bowers Group every month. So say you're that winner, at least you get a nice little $100 savings uh, if you wanted to pick up the Bowers 458. I think that about covers it today, guys. I don't want to ramble on too long. Definitely a really good performing can given uh, the amount of, of gas pressure that this gun, that this cartridge exhibits. So a big kudos to Bowers uh, for producing something uh, that's this versatile across so many platforms. Uh, hopefully we'll get a lot more use out of this down the road since we can swap it with all of their Verse Adapt adapters. Um, until next time guys, make sure to click that like and subscribe button. That really helps the channel. If you haven't noticed, we're about to hit 100,000 subscribers, which is awesome. You guys have been great. Uh, the channel growth here is a little slower than other channels because we are in a niche market. So those of you watching are normally more serious buyers um, you're coming here to do research on a suppressor that you're gonna be stuck with basically for the rest of your life and so on and so forth. So I really appreciate you guys, all your support over the years, coming to the events, uh, following me on Facebook and Instagram, and of course, supporting on Patreon. You guys have been really great. I'm gonna have to come up with something, some sort of giveaway to do when I hit 100,000 subscribers. We're very close. So click that button and I'll see you next time.